Hello and welcome back to Generation Zero. So last time, I think, I had to look it up actually because I forgot we got done with DLC Island, which is right over here. Well, at least for now, actually. I don't know if we are gonna come back or not. I don't know if there's gonna be missions, more missions or whatever. Maybe there's gonna be something on this island, which doesn't seem likely because there's no buildings marked whatsoever. We are back here in... Uh, um, yes, that. What is happening here? There's so many tanks. No, it's one tank, I think. No, two. Is that Apocalypse class? It is. And a Phoenix, and a Phoenix Harvester too. Yeah, that's fun. We're not gonna deal with those guys just yet. I think today's episode will be more lax. I don't think there's gonna be... I mean, there's probably gonna be a lot of action, but less mission progress, I think. Because our map is looking kind of sparse today. I hope that changes. November 14th, 1989. This is Corporal Pim Dalian of 2nd Platoon, 3rd Company of Österliv Gardet. Part of what used to be the Swedish Army. First and last recording, most probably. I want this recorded to make sure there's a trace of what we did. On the evening of the 10th, the machines attacked Sorken and their numbers quickly overpowered the whole bunker. Our squad was stationed at Boo Brun, and when we were notified that Sorken had fallen, Sergeant Eriksson flipped out. He ordered us to drive away, randomly taking on machines. When we ran out of ammo, he ordered us to raid abandoned houses for anything we wanted. We basically went AWOL in the midst of chaos. It didn't take long for some of the guys to enjoy it to start gathering valuables for afterwards, idiots. When the machines descended upon us, I just drove away. The rest of them may still be at our home manor, surrounded by their precious TVs and VCRs. Corporal Pimdalin, checking out. What did he say? They went AWOL. What is that even supposed to mean? I don't think we're gonna get to the side mission today. I really wanna explore the forest region, which is outlined right here. Again, I don't think we're gonna see a lot of main missions today, especially because most of them, if not all, are just war bunkers or war boards. We have a relay beacon somewhere. There's another one. Do we have to climb this entire mountain, hill, whatever? Oh, I think the way around is long enough to not go for it and try this instead. I think we may have to go around. No. You ever heard of Skyrim? Pretty popular game. You can scale mountains like these without any problem. I wish that we just could have a sort of like a wingsuit just like in far cry 3 you would just jump off glide to your destination that would be so cool whip out the elytra shout outs to minecraft okay how do we okay there is a way here can we cross it here i think so right no what there is clearly a way on the map i think they just misplaced it yeah it's here Another safe house done, and now we go... Okay, there is a safe house on or in the war bunker, so that's good. And with that, we should get a couple of missions too. Side and main missions, I think. That's one thing these warboards always give you. I think always. Oh yeah, and by the way, I, I said it like, I don't know, maybe three, four Gen Zero videos ago. If you have suggestions for games you want me to play, uh, drop them off. I will look at all of the suggestions. I will check everything I can and just see if I if I would like it. Or even if I have it already, that'd be uh, convenient. What kind of a sign is this? It's like a, like a hiking path, maybe? It's a hunter? Okay. It's a yellow one here. What? What is that? It's a red ones too. Hello, it's me. Yeah, boy. Another exit? What? Oh, okay. I take it. I hear a tank. That's not a machine I really want to take on if I don't have to. Two Phoenix class. Let's see if we have something more tame. Something that doesn't know how to rip us apart in like 17 different ways. Ooh, if we can loot this guy. Jackpot. Yeah, entry barcode. We need some action in this. I, I I feel like we won't have enough if I don't do anything right now. Let me... There you are. Hello. Escaped combat, which is... 
It's the wrong one, but still. They are pissed. Okay, sorry. That jump scared me more than it should have. Oh, okay, there is a lot of you guys. I think I'm gonna die, so prepare for that. Yeah, if I can, I'm gonna run back to the bunker. It's been like two that I could see. Now it's like five, so that's fun. Okay, let's go in here. Oh god. Okay, he's back. I'm in a bad spot. Yep. Do it. He still damaged me. How? Have we be have we been pinked? I don't think so. Which is weird. Why is there so many? Okay, he got damaged before, so that's good. Thing is, we have still one more above us. Two more. Correction. Good. Y yeah. Can you stop littering? Okay, we got everything we needed. Let's go in. I hear ticks. Let's see you. Oh, hi. Yeah. No. What do we got in here? Hello. Why do we have 700 ammo for this sniper again? I thought last time I stored them away. Apparently not. Hit it. We got power back in this. Okay, I think, yeah, we go up again. What? Wait. Huh? It reset. It just reset on me. What? Uh, uh. Okay, I went in, hit the power, the power turned on. I left and it got pitch black again. I don't think this was supposed to happen. I think the game was just a bit slow. Just like me, oh yeah. Sorry. Okay, can we please get up now without it getting dark again? Looking good, chief, looking good. I don't think I will explore this entire bunker. Let me in. And let's see what we got. No enemies, which is good, unless they load in later again. Um, safe house. It's not unlocked yet. Estavik Police Station. This is Studio Officer Nico Pettersson at the IGA factory outside of Estavik. Why are you not answering? We are being shot at. Our emergency alarm triggers aren't working and neither is the radio. We need assistance now, dammit. We've got millions of liters of hazardous materials out here, and the wind is easterly. One stray bullet, the first week could be covered in a goddamn toxic cloud. Do you hear me? Mordem, this is Ture Ludwig III. We know you're not answering, but hopefully you're still listening. We have pursued the enemy into the forest. Approximately one click northwest of York Kvarns sawmill. Still no sight of the display. Behind! Take cover! This is Emil Sandberg for the news on SR4 November 8th. As we have previously reported this morning, it became evident that several people were killed around the Östertörn area during the night. Police is being restricted with the details, but sources to SR4 confirm that over 10 victims have been found. It is unclear at this point to what extent, if any, these murders are connected. One of the victims was found in the Lillå neighborhood in Östervik and SR4 talked to one of the neighbors who had been in contact with the police, Fredrik Blom. It's horrible. Even when I warned them, I saw the flying metal thing going right over her house last night, you know. I told the police, but they didn't believe me. It's true, you know, Uncle Kalle was right. They did it. It was the damn aliens. Okay. <laughs> 
We well, got the nephew, it seems, um, of Kalle. Quite the conspiracy theorist, just like his old man. But flying metal thing, huh? Is there something we still don't know about? Okay, we're beelining the next safe house and then we get to our main mission for the day. And the two side missions we got, we will do also, maybe? Depends on where they are. Oh, we have so much now. Side missions. Steal oh no, it's the... We, we just got three main missions, and see, main missions, it seems like. Oh, this one's really boarded up. I like that. I shouldn't phrase it like that, but I, li I like it when it's boarded up because it, it feels cozy to me if there's like only one entrance to a place. I don't know. Again, it's it's weird. I'm, I'm super weird when it comes to these things. Stop screaming. Oh, they are right here. I didn't even see them. Jesus. That almost killed me. I hear takes. Oh yeah. And we have more trouble on our way. Oh, that's a hunter. That is real bad. And we got shotgun runners. I know what I'm doing. Yep, there he is. Get in. And hide. Okay. And now we wait. Oh, yeah. Bye. Bye. Hey. I'm gone with you. Oh my god, stop looting. Prototype. Are these moving targets? They're completely still. Why? Okay, what are we dealing with? Oh. He's got a shotgun too. And I think we have to just completely blow this into pieces. What do we have in here? Oh! I see. We're blowing this up. There we go. That was the main mission probably just to get rid of all these tanks that are being strapped onto machines. Okay, let's see what is sort of close. Down here, gas factor. Oh yeah, we can do that. Or this one too, flying objects. You know, let's do this first. Okay, suburban neighborhood located. Reported seeing a flying machine. Oh yeah, these were the people that randomly got killed overnight. What was it, like 10 people? Find a public map of the Lilla neighborhood. We got a side mission here too. Okay. Uh, good. That's exactly what I needed. So is he like terrorizing this town? Is he responsible for all the killings? My guy, can you like, turn away? Not in this direction. Yeah, beep boop you too. Okay, don't. He's looking right at me. He reminds me of, um, what is this thing called? The, the robot from Half-Life um, that is accompanying Alex. Isn't his name just like Dog? Isn't that the name? I like him. There's so many runners too. Yeah, it's insane. There's the map. Map of the suburbs. Okay. Why do we go look up Frederick Blom's address in the phone book? If the residents would just leave me alone for a quick second, I could do that. Oh no. Don't see me, please. I have enough stuff going on. Locate Frederick Blom's house. Oh yeah, yeah. Good thing we have a marker, hey? Our third eye opening telling us where to go. We're in. Find any remaining information about what happened to the Lilla neighborhood. Newspaper headline on mysterious murders. 14 people killed even. Mr. Bloom, good evening. This is Detective Mats Hansson, Estevik Police Station. We have noted your report about a flying object over Lilla this evening. We have not received any similar reports from anyone else, including the army, who, as you may know, has a substantial presence, including radars, on us to turn. Please. Stop calling us, and perhaps try to get some sleep. Thank you, and goodbye. Oh yikes. Imagine being called crazy like that. Try getting some sleep, my guy. Maybe that'll help. You saw aliens? Some flying saucers? Some, some, you know, some grey men stalking you through the window? Maybe get some sleep, my guy. You're crazy. Seek help. Imagine you actually have to report something to the police or, you know, anything like that. They just tell you that you're, basically tell you that you're crazy. Tell you to just, you know, 
Go to sleep. Walk it off. Walk it off. Yeah, that's a good one. There was a time once where I was still with my parents at some point. I was like, what? I think I was like 13, 14 maybe. And we had a roundabout like next to our house. I could see it from my room's window. There was like the world championship, uh, football championships. And there were like three guys with a um with like a box of beer in the middle of the roundabout like they were lying on the street right at like three in the morning and you know i called the police because of course it's 3 a.m shut up people have to sleep people have to go to work school whatever and you're screaming your lungs out like idiots first off and second off you could get killed you could just get run over and i called the police what did they tell me well, there's nobody in the, um, like, basically in the HQ in your area, so nobody can really come there to check it out. And I'm like, well, okay, if you want to let three people die, that's okay. And they were like, okay, but we at least need to know your name uh, so we can, you know, identify who you are and stuff. And I'm like, does that really matter? Does it matter who I am? There's, like, three people probably about to get run over by a massive semi-truck. And you don't care. There was nobody at the end of the day. Nobody came to investigate. But what do I know, right? What do I know? I thought I had my SMG out. Whoops. I know, buddy. I know. I know. I was loud. I didn't mean to. Hey, honey. Look, sorry, but I'll need to work quite late tonight again. Guess you'll be watching the game at your brother's anyway, right? Svante's condition is um, not improving at all. And we, we finally made the decision today. I know it's the right thing to do, but I can't help feeling that I've let him down after everything. Maybe we could talk for a bit when I get home. Love you. It's insane. Imagine having these guys running around everywhere, terrorizing the entire island. And you, you know, have your own personal problems to deal with as well. Yeah, relax. Stop screaming at me, my guy. We get it. You're pissed. Okay, exchange student. Let's break our legs. That was uh, part one of my plan. Oh, collectible. Hello. Exchange student's house. Let's break our legs even more. Nice. Plan is coming together. Oh, now you show me the relay beacon, eh? Where is it? <gasps> Where is it? Ah, uh, you know what? It's fine. Wow. This guy is stacked. I don't think I'm gonna go movement noise. I think it's time to go into combat. Thing is, which one would I go for? Reload speed is good. Run and gun. Lowers bullet spread while moving. Eh, it's fine. Armor, bullet re damage resistance. Explosive damage and gas damage. Sounds good. Armor damage. Increases the amount of damage done to enemy armor. 5 and 10%. Increase the amount of damage dealt when using automatic fire. 5 and 10%. Increases your damage resistance with or by rather 25%. Ooh, this path is really good. Aim speed, self-explanatory, hipshot accuracy, self-explanatory, weapon recoil, also weapon sway. Eh. Make him count. Single shot fire with automatic weapons does more damage to components. Meh. Marksman. Completely eliminates weapon sway when using any weapon. Nah, let's go here. By reload speed. Minus 15%. Or you know what? Remove the waypoint. Oh no, don't remove it. But fast travel up here. Oh my god. I am surrounded and scared by whatever sound that was. Um, I just got wrecked and I got nobody to blame but me. All right, we're moving again. Nice. I really want to play a game that is kind of like the old DayZ, like the mod, but like single player. You know what I mean? Like an, like an actual game that is um, either being worked on or finished already. I really like these like massive open worlds to explore and... Uh, not again. You know, massive worlds to explore. Maps, rather. This, like, survival aspect to it. 
FPS, whatever. If it's an FPS, I don't care really too much. It may just be only survival. But again, you can definitely get involved to just recommend me something to play and I'll check it out. I'm fast as fuck, boy. What is wrong with you? Why is there so much? I'm scared. He he. Sorry. Y'all need to just get away from me. They know I'm here. I don't know why they're playing with me. Yeah, see? See that? You are too close. You are way too close. Okay, the tank is to my left. Um. No, he's not. Oh. Great. You have a brother. Hey, yo, can you, like, tell this guy to, you know, leave or something? Oh, he's so gonna see me. He is so gonna see me. At least we have some robot ASMR. Do it. Do it. Come on. Okay, then. I'm leaving. Now you do it, eh? And we're off. And that's it. Oh, I have to go down. Mats, Mats, answer, goddammit. The thing's shooting at us. It's some kind of robots. I'm not kidding. But listen, they have fuel cell tanks on their backs. It looks like our tanks. I could definitely see one B3 and I think a B5 as well. Aren't we shipping those to the army? What the hell is going on here? You have to find out if any are missing from the storage and contact the army. I'm going to try to get out of Our tanks, she said. Did they get stolen? It's two markers. That can only mean one thing. Oh, actually, maybe not. No, it's something else. Find and destroy the store fuel cell tanks. Remaining toxic gas supplies. Ah, where is all this? Oh yeah, there was like this this hung hangar hangar, whatever. There's something behind me. Oh no, it's the water. My God, who even? What? What do you mean requires key? Where do I get it? What do you mean I need a key? Oh, there's a second entrance. I'm stupid. Oh, I am. Oh my god, I'm so incredibly dumb. Why do I need the key? I don't know. Completely off my rockers today. Relax, boy. Damn. Stop looting those. Okay, no. Your laser is not annoying at all, eh? That works. That's what I thought. Wow. Okay, that's that. Hello? Room service? Oh god. What are you doing here? Nice. It's gas mask time again. Hello? Oh my god, where? Oh my god, open. What do we have now? Ceiling from the poor, yeah, we already know that. Warboards, okay. We are back on the warboard grind, I think. Yeah, next one is up here. How do we go about this? I think let's place a waypoint here, go here, fast travel, and head up northwest. This area kind of looks like the end of the map, even though the map is surrounded by water. You know, fun fact about islands. They tend to be surrounded by water. That's probably like, you know, the first installment of uh, learning with Cherex or something. I'm talking out of my ass. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. You have to like endure my 
Stupid rambling. Did you know that prototype sucks? Yes, I'm talking about you. Oh no, I'm getting flashbacks to Nightmare House again. Please go watch it. It's ugh. It broke the fourth wall once so bad. I was having uh, paranoia for the rest of the day. <laughs> it was really bad. It was so, so bad. Do we go here to the airport? You know what? Let's get that one too. A note found at the farm of Broskula talks about an overrun safe house with supplies north of the farm. So here, is it this? Look, it's two completely useless machines. Haha, <laughs> you don't scare me. Prototype is ass. Always has been. Points weapon to head. Uh, what is that? What is that? Why are they coming here? They're not coming to me, that's for sure. Wait, what? No way. I hear shooting again. Are they fighting? Yes, no. The harvesters are uh, are attacking, but not these guys. The small ones are. They're fighting hunters. Wait, what? What is what is ha happening? My god, stop. Oh, the jump scared me. Ow. My god, I jumped so much it hurt. Jesus. Oh god. That was the last thing I was expecting. Like, what do you mean collectibles one of one? There's a lot of fighting. We haven't seen these robots just yet, or until now, I should say. And we don't even know what they are, and I'm not sure if we should investigate or not. I'm just gonna try and go there as straightforward as I can. Uh, uh this, I, I'm at a loss for words. They're still fighting back there. What are these? Oh, wow. The thing is shooting fast. Um, I take the weapon. That was weird. Okay, I am leaving. What even are you? Talking about flying machines and UFOs and aliens and uh, whatever else. Okay, get away from everything. We will look at those next time. Not now. Stop! Jeez. Jeez. Like, what is happening out there? They're fighting against each other, everything. I don't even know who is in what team. What this UFO has to do with it. Okay, now we can go to the warboard. Let's see what this is all about here. Where's the safe house supposed to be? Oh yeah, probably once we interact with this. Sorkin. Yeah. Come in, Sorkin. Damn it. Listen, this is Captain Lindqvist at F-3. We are completely grounded over here. Only a single squadron of Roken was able to take off before we lost control of the runway, and we have since lost contact with them. The enemy is... I have never seen anything like it. It's robots. Why the hell did we not know about this from USL? We have retreated to the weapon storage in the underground hangar to retrieve anti-armor weaponry. If we cannot retake the airfield, then we will sabotage it to prevent the enemy from using it as a bridgehead. Power is acting up and we don't know how much time we have. Send assistance if you can, but we won't wait for you. Link is out. Good. At least one person with a little bit of common sense. Okay, I think we're not gonna do too much more today. I'm thinking we go to the safe house here and work our way a little bit more north. Okay, what do we got here even? The safe house is up here. Is it up or down? It's down. It's another safe house. There's a random hunter. He's prototype. Of course, dude. Of course. I swear. Don't try anything funny. Ow! Everything is jump scaring me today. I'm so jumpy. Now I should play some horror games. That'll be good. I'd be pissing myself just opening doors. Where do I go? There's another safe house in front of me. I don't even know what's happening anymore. We got a side mission here to get. At least we got this safe house. So that's good. Machine head. Find the sniper hiding on the head frame. Let me guess, there's gonna be another dead body. It's gonna be a dead person again. Or nothing, one of the two. Or just a tick, huh? Yeah, what did I tell you? 
Ooh, 50 kill. There we go. Wait. There was more of them. Search for anything useful at the airport. You know what would be useful? Marking those other guys again. There's one. Requires key. What is up there? Let me up there, bleh. What? Did it just fall through the railing? I'm sorry if uh, this hasn't been too action-packed. I guess next time there will be a bit more. Foreign machines. Foreign machines? It's gonna be the damn Russians again. Oh, I hear this thing again. The UFO. You know, the safe house isn't too far away. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna run. There's something running around. A lot of stuff. Oh, no. And I have to go through here. Oh, no. Oh, this sucks. Oh, yeah, of course you go to me now. Oh, what is happening? What is happening? Okay, this is chaos. This is complete chaos. I don't even know who is on what side. I just know everything is against me. God damn, what is happening? Oh no, where is the safe house? Oh, it's in here, I think. Nice. Ooh, there's so much. Why is there so much? If this is something that is gonna be, like, normal from now on, gonna be stressful. I can feel the pain already. I am incredibly surprised. Nothing has spotted me yet. What? No, you gotta actually explain this one to me. You know what? Don't care. Don't care. We're done. I'm not dealing with this anymore. I am way too tired to be hunted down by, like, robot dogs and UFOs. Honestly. Actually, just give me, give me the little gray men that come out of it. I don't care. Just let me randomly learn how to fly this thing. What in the actual name of Christ is this? Where is it? It's not looking good, chief. It has some tanks on the back, I just noticed. There they are. Two of them. Oh! He's getting damaged real bad. Okay, I think that's gonna be it. Oh my god. Next time we're gonna take care of all the side missions we have, all the main missions we have apart. Again, apart from piece by piece, this will be one of the last, if not the last, main mission we're gonna do. I know for a fact that as soon as you finish the mission, there's gonna be credits rolling. So this is gonna be one of the last, or the last, I should say. Okay, I'm gonna... Thank you for watching this one, even though it was a very, very slow episode. Nothing really happening. I mean, there was a lot happening, but, you know, I tried to avoid everything for a reason. Oh yeah, of course. I want to do my outro, my guy. I'm going to thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Goodbye.